Welcome back. These are the stories making our e-news and reviews this week. Today marks the 71st anniversary of the birth of reggae king Bob Marley. And aside from all the happenings surrounding that, the Bob Marley and Sandals Foundations joined forces to launch WOE, Women Helping Others Achieve. Their brand ambassador is Sadella Marley. February is always a great month for us. Um, there's so much that's going on. And just to have this initiative, you know, being part of your father's legacy. Yeah, part of dad's legacy is just... His reach is so far. Launched at the Bob Marley Museum on Tuesday afternoon, WOW seeks to raise funds for established outreach programs in the Caribbean. I'm feeling amazing. I think that we're here to back a lot of amazing programs that already exist here in the Caribbean and build the capacity of them and be a voice internationally and locally to bring more funding and awareness. You can support the cause by downloading Sidella's specially recorded version of Could You Be Loved at crowdrise.com slash Sidella Marley. And even when I was recording the song, I didn't realize what a touching song when done it differently how it really can actually like when I was singing it I was like going oh my gosh this song was meant for me it was meant for women that he was actually speaking to women when he was singing could you be loved could you be loved as we continue to celebrate the 71st anniversary of Bob Marley's birth one person who knew him very well is Never Garrick who we caught up with on the Jamrock Cruise after a session with cruisers that sought to humanize the man many only know as the iconic reggae figure. But everybody kind of see Bob like Bob the Prophet and you know, Saint and all that. It's just my friend. Okay. So what I kind of reveal to people is a more humanistic side. Okay, I think they tend to dehumanize Bob. Yeah, it, it, they've made him into a right, person. Some will argue, rightly so, this iconic historical figure. Yeah. Um, especially to the younger kids. Yeah, which there's no problem with that. Right. You know, because they earned that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just as I was saying is, Bob wasn't about Bob. Okay. Bob was about the people. That's why I even mentioned in those photographs mm -hmm. that I like taking Bob because remember him say, if my life is just for me alone, I don't want it. Mm -hmm. My life is for the people. And some of you know Bob loves people, but at the same time, Bob's trust is something you have to win. Because all through him life, there's been a lot. That's why I say, when Bob said, could you be loved and be loved, him trying to really say something that I don't think everybody gets the message. Mm -hmm. It's almost love twice. So even being him friend, him always testing you mm -hmm. to see if you're with it. Because he has never really, I don't think, trusted a lot of people. A lot of people who mm, said them come with good and things didn't really turn out that way. And, my relationship with him, I kind of fi find very special that he became like my big brother. I learned the University of the Streets mm -hmm. from Bob. I didn't necessarily come up, I wasn't uptown, but I never come up in the ghetto streets like Bob. Yeah. And the nuances and how to survive. And then I think I imparted book knowledge to him because I make him start read. And the more he start read all them black power books and things, it expanded his own vision that not just Jamaica but the whole world. So as a young man, you yes. were still, in a sense, a mentor to him. It was reciprocal. <laughs> yes. Because he them was... the fair exchange is no robbery. <laughs> <laughs> so he brings the street mm. and you bring more knowledge. From yeah, from yeah, the from the book knowledge, the universe, um, the intellect. Okay. You know? All right. So it's important then, um, uh, Neville, to remind people mm. of the human side of this icon, right? It, 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 it's the most important thing about him is that he was human. Yeah. You know, because if you blaze somebody like up there, idol, like or whatever. It's like you can never reach there. Mm -hmm. I want him to be a place where everybody think them can be Bob. Okay. And you know, it's all the way when people say, boy, Bob dead. You know why Bob don't dead? The only time you are dead is when nobody talk about you anymore. And that will never happen to Bob. So as long as we keep evoking either a message or a name and thing, he's very much alive. The only thing now is that it belongs to the whole world, not just Jamaica. Steer it up, little darling. 
It was an evening of wine on the waterfront downtown Kingston on Tuesday for specially invited guests. Grace Kennedy Foods, which has been in the wine business for several years, has now decided to make it a big deal. Because of the strength of the Grace name in the area of food, we thought that a different company with a different identity would help in the, in, to propel our foray into the wines and spirits industry. Hence the launch of Harbour Wines and Spirits. The name immediately spoke to our heritage in that in the old days the harbour came right up to the doors of Grace Kennedy at 64 Harbour Street. The Spirits portfolio hasn't quite matured as yet, but their wine selection is global, representing regions like the United States, South Africa, Europe, Argentina and many more. Simply Myrna, the annual showcase starring Jamaican singer Myrna Haig, is renewed for a sixth staging. Simply Myrna is a show about Myrna Haig presenting herself in all of the ways that she is. So she sings, she dances, she talks, she acts, it's just her. The concert moves from its home at the Courtly Auditorium to Devon House in Kingston on Saturday, March 5th and features special guests Harold Davis and Richie Stevens. One of the things that this show does for me is give me the chance to work with people that I wouldn't get to work with otherwise. And so I've worked with Richie I've never worked with Richie, but I've worked with Harold before you know, in a small, limited way. But in this kind of concert setting, it's going to be really exciting. Simply Myrna 2016 was launched at Hotel Four Seasons on Thursday evening. All right, still to come right here on stage, Twin of Twins and Futa Hype weighing on some of the biggest topical issues in reggae, dancehall and Jamaica's diaspora. All you need to know about Jamaica's new three-day EDM festival. And why is Richie Stevens so happy about Rihanna's auntie? Stevens will tell us. All coming up. We'll be back. Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here. And enjoy so much more where that came from. Paradise Lost is headlined by two of the world's leading EDM performers, Tiesto and Bass Nectar, alongside Jamaica's own King Janis. 